The top stories. 11 injured in three vehicles smash up in St. Peter. Calypsonian of Saucy fame dies at 65. And we zoom in on day one of National Secondary School Sports. Welcome to Nation News for Wednesday, March 18th, 2015. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados. Through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. An influential property sales and real estate firm is reporting increased holiday villa rentals in Barbados, another sign that tourism is on the up. Speaking at the launch of its 2015 real estate guide, The Red Book, CEO of Terra Caribbean, Andrew Malalu, said occupancy is about 25 to 30% higher than it was last year. Mr. Malalu said early bookings for next year also look positive. A three-vehicle accident at Mullins in St. Peter has left 11 people with injuries. It involved a transport board bus, a car, and a jeep. Three people were taken to the QEH by ambulance. No word yet on the extent of the injuries. One was taken to the nearby Morris Bayer Polyclinic and seven treated at the accident scene. The three men charged in connection with Monday's seizure of nearly $2 million dollars in cocaine and cannabis have been remanded to prison. Appearing in court were 57-year-old businessman and former policeman David Leroy Kamabat, 60-year-old farmer Neville O'Neill Kamabat and Michael Seeley, a 26-year-old boat crewman. The charges stem from the 32 kilos of cocaine and 56 kilos of cannabis seized in waters off the south coast. Entertainers have been paying tribute to director the Calypsonian who gained Caribbean fame with his big hit Saucy about a busy body neighbor 30 years ago. Michael Director Ford, who was also a folk and gospel singer in his time, died at the QEH on Wednesday at the age of 65. His widow, Betty Ford, told Nation News that the father of three succumbed to prostate cancer. Among those paying tribute to the multi-talented entertainer was Gabby. Government is hoping that local hotels will soon be able to generate their own power. This is according to Energy Minister Darcy Boyce, who says government is looking for ways to help hotels access the funds needed to improve their energy efficiency, with the ultimate goal of having them generate renewable energy. Senator Boyce revealed that government had already collaborated with the Caribbean Hotel Association to have energy audits done on local hotels. Prepare for possible tsunamis and earthquakes now, Barbadians have been told. Seismologist Joan Latchman of the Seismic Research Center in Trinidad wants communities to uh, prepare response plans that include the elderly and disabled. Speaking following a presentation to staff of Banks Bureaus, Dr. Latchman said people in the Caribbean should prepare for natural disasters during a period of calm. A local non-profit organization known as the African Heritage Foundation says it's trying to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for small business development. President Paul Rock estimates that over the next several months it will raise between $200,000 and $300,000 through membership fees, grants and other means. One of the fundraising events is an African Heritage Fair and Cultural Show next week Saturday. In sports, secondary inter-school sports are on at the National Stadium. Here's Andy Thornhill with a summary of Day 1. Day 1 has ended for the Barbados Secondary School Athletic Championships, and you could say that Leicester Vaughan have been the fastest out of the blocks in both categories. They lead the girls with 18 points, followed by Queen's College, 14.50, and their champions, Spring Memorial, 13.50, rounding out the top three. They head the boys, 29 points, followed by Harrison College, 25.50, and Christchurch Foundation, 23.50, rounding out that top three. Of course, the points gained from today from six field events. So what will tomorrow bring? That's the big question. What we can tell you for sure is that the race has only just begun. Don't go away. Stay tuned for coming attractions because we are sure 
There'll be plenty fireworks over the next four days. Andy Thornhill for the Nation News Wrap. And finally, a man in China found himself in a sticky situation when his current girlfriend and his ex both threw themselves into a river to see which one he loved the most. Confused, Wu Xia had broken up with his long-term girlfriend, Zhong Tang, after meeting new love, Rong Shao. But over the following three months, jilted John kept hassling him to get back with her. And so Wu decided to arrange a meeting between the three of them. When they both jumped into the water and called for him to help, Wu settled the matter by saving his current girlfriend and then taking the soaking wet and slightly injured young woman to hospital. A police spokesman said that he called his brother on the way home and told him to go to the river and rescue the ex-girlfriend, whose brother in turn called the fire brigade who arrived at the scene and helped her out of the water. And that's Nation News for Thursday. For more, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And then remember to pick up your Weekend Nation on Friday or subscribe to our e-paper. Thanks for joining us.